Hey, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Splatoon 3. We are going to be diving back into Side Order today, the new DLC in the Expansion Pass. And if you missed the other stream, this is a spoiler warning. I have completed the tower once, so there are some rewards, some obvious, some not so obvious. So this is your opportunity to duck out if you don't want to be spoiled on what you unlock from beating the tower once and final boss, but we're going to try to do it again because there are other rewards. Speaking of rewards, I got one waiting on the computer back there. Ooh, not these stickers. I unlocked one of the weapon skins, which this was already revealed. It was the Dapple Dooleys. This is the first weapon I used to, or not the Dapple Dooleys, but just Dooleys. I used that to, uh, <laughs> to beat the tower initially. And I wanted to show immediately, because there's a couple other things that were in the update that you might not have noticed. One of which I'm showing right now. My glasses. This is one of the new adjust gear things, because originally the low-vis visor sat up, but now you can actually wear it normal. That applies to a lot of different pairs of glasses. There's a few other things that aren't as noticeable, like you can pull your sleeves up on your hoodie, which I believe is new, and you can take the socks off of some of the shoes, but not too much stuff. And uh, let's put these new ones on. I want to show the Repin Inkopolis emote because look, it's new for different weapons now. You have to go over to it. There we go. There's the Dooley's one. Show that again. So every weapon that was not in Splatoon 1 has a new animation now. There's the Splatana one. Pretty cool. And then the Brellas. Of course. This one's really good. <laughs> very, yeah, it feels like it goes with my very 80s looking outfit. And he just keeps doing it. So that's a, that's a pretty good one to win with because you can just really flaunt your air guitar. And then last but not least, the stringers. Tasteful, not too crazy. And I did get a uh, another emote from beating the campaign. It's off the hook. I think that's Pearl's Dance initially. And then they do the off the hook pose at the end. I'm going to keep Repin Rep Inkopolis on, because I think that is cool that they added all those emotes at the end. But without further ado, this is your last chance to bail out before we go back in, because there's a spoiler in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's the fact that we can go to Inkopolis Square, so that's one of the rewards. But we're going to the Order Sector. This is where we will be playing Side Order, of course. And there's a lot more to unlock. I think I'm going to try, as I, I had that weapon equipped before, I'm going to try the Splatana Stamper. Oh, hello. <laughs> These weird little creatures everywhere. But yeah, I did unlock the Splatana Stamper palette. It's Fry's palette, technically. And I've completed it with Pearl's Dooleys. So let's grab that. i got a couple others I'm interested in. But you can see how many keys I've unlocked for the lockers with each one. Zero for this. So let's start with this one. We got a lot of lockers to unlock, more pallets to get. This place is starting to get more and more populated. I noticed as I was idling here, these little things, the things that appear in the sky, actually go with the music. If you see them pop up. Oh, there's one back there. Very subtle. But yeah, you see it went with the beat there. Anyways, let's get going. I should probably buy some more hacks. We have all these pearls that we unlocked. I don't think I need more than three lives. I think we're probably good with that. I might add some more uh, more armor. That seems like a good use of it. I don't want to do anything that makes it too easy because we have already beaten it once. This is extremely useful. If you're playing this, please invest in broken armor jump because if you fall off the stage, you will automatically uh, come back using this, it seems like, or at least that happened to me. I don't think it was a coincidence. And then, yeah, I don't know if we need to use any extra other stuff. Oh, did my, oh, my pearls did go down. Okay. But yeah, there's so many things that you can get. If we want to get, yeah, I might invest in double chips. I bias towards double chips. And then some more drone actions couldn't hurt, right? I'm not going to worry too much about all of this. We do want to unlock more. Ooh, an ink strike. That seems good. All right, let's go. That's enough shopping. 
So if you want to unlock everything in this, you do have to get all the color chips for the palettes, and some of that you can only get if you do get the hacks for Pearl to get them to show up. So. All right. Without further ado... Oh, hey, remember the palette you used to knock out order has already been reconfigured. So what do you want to... You think about using a different palette this time. You can switch it up with plus. Yep, way ahead of you, Pearl drone. The ink, especially in the lobby before you get any of the palettes, is just a very peaceful look to it. I forgot that this this does feel very portal influenced. There's even things called portals in this game. Uh, but yeah, if we wanted to refight the final boss, I think we can do that there. And there's the earlier boss. Okay, let's jump into it. Uh, but yeah, portal one and two have this very bleached out aesthetic <laughs> sterile. Oh, thank you so much, Josh, for gifting the membership and Domino Harley became a member. That's what I was about to say. Thank you, robotic voice of the Tower of Spire of Order. Yo, app, keeping the world safe for elevators, I see. Pearl 8, you seem ready to set out again. <laughs> I'm actually kind of looking forward Domino Harley became a member. to climbing the spire again with all of you. Oh, no, it's doing the double notifications. That's okay. We're headed for the control room at the top floor. Can't we just push the button and go now? Still no. Remember, it only goes one floor at a time. All right, we're starting our new climb here. So if you haven't, you know, seen any of this, you could jump in here if you're not worried about spoilers. You choose what level and reward you want to get. Like, we could try to get this ink strike right off the bat. That seems pretty good. This would be, ooh, maybe I'll save the ink strike because this is a double chip. Those are rarer. And I have my fizzy bomb. So I'm going to start out with a hard one right off the bat. Hopefully this is not going to backfire on me. And uh, you can tell which chips you have. Or have not, there's a little spoiler for the final boss there. Alright. We're going in. Uh, you do want to collect all the chips, like I mentioned, if you want to unlock everything. From what I've heard. I want to use the Splatana, because I think starting with the weapons I like or are more used to earlier is going to make this easier. Then we'll have more hacks when I have to use the charger and things like that. Right now, we are starting off pretty low amount of uh, of chips, of course. Oh, I should be using my fizzy bomb, because those are the things that are going to help me with those double chips I got. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We were already in trouble. I need chip upgrades. I'm going to have to come back for the zone. Zone is lost. Give me something. Okay, here we go. Save me, crab! It's not gonna launch far enough. Alright, now we can get back into it. This is one of the levels where those enemy portals do not stop. They so just kinda have to deal with them. And hope that you can hack it with Pearl's little dubious disc things. We got it back. Hopefully that platform will go down before the other fish can get over here. The gelatin. There we go. Now they're gonna try to go up the other side. This should be a little easier now. And there we go. Wasn't too tough. There is a level above hard called Rigorous that we have to look out for. Very tempting to try to get more rewards. We've got a bunch of Mem Bucks. We use those to buy things later and get more bonuses like pearls that we were spending at the beginning. Hmm. Sound wave damage. That's for the uh, pearl drone killer whale wave breaker. So you can tell if you look at the chip there on the bottom of the uh, the little thing here, you know, where the chip is actually where it says it, there is no pips above it. This one has one little pip, which means I've gotten it before. And these ones both have none. So maybe I should go for one I have not gotten before so we can unlock all of them. All right. I know we, uh, there's at least one boss I saw in the trailers that I have not fought yet. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. We've seen a lot of the DLC already from the first stream, but I do think, uh, oops, man, I used too much ink with that fizzy bomb early on. Get this going and then I can grab. I 
We want to keep those little floaty fish away because they are the worst for your zone. They're little sprinklers, basically. Okay, 36 left. Yeah, these guys. They all have musical names, and eventually I will try to learn all of them, but right now I don't know all of them. Remember to try to... Ooh, charge. There we go. <laughs> I got a little bit of a pickle there with broken armor, but we survived. Yeah, the charger... People are talking about that. I'm a little worried about it that. That's not my area of expertise, but I think if we have enough hacks by then with Marina, it'll make it easier. Drone gauge charge, lucky bomb drop. I do not have lucky chain windows. So let's try this. This is a destroy the portals level. And of course, yeah, like I was saying, portal, the test chambers in portal one and two, the shrines in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. A lot of similar vibes, some of it. Inspired by a lot of stuff. The Matrix, near. Take your pick. I'm knocking these guys back a little. Hmm. Probably would help to get those little things out of here before stuff spawns. Oop, yep. A little more and I can blast everyone. Yeah, there we go. When the portals blow up, they help you a lot with getting everything out of the way that's around you. Maybe if I charge next to it. Oop, you don't want to get too close. I got my crap. Let's do that. Seems like a good special for this. We'll find out. The dualies, I used uh, Reef Slider and Curling Bomb, which are not a sub and special I'm very fond of in normal multiplayer, but... They proved really useful in this. Let's get horizontal slash speed. That seems good. Especially because it's unique to this weapon. So I'm realizing whatever chips that are unique to your weapon, you are probably going to need to grab while you're playing it, obviously, or you're not going to be able to get them. So I'm going to prioritize those as well. Those little jelly guys. This is a tower one, so... A strange version of the tower we get to try to travel along with. It said vertical or is it horizontal? I can check my chips, right? <laughs> the sound just cuts out completely. Horizontal slash speed. Okay. But my normal slashes, not the charge one. Those guys I think are called. Or no, Andante are the ones that are medium sized. They're like Tenpo or something. The names, I, I don't promise I'm gonna learn all of them necessarily because they're very long and complicated. They have a lot to them. I didn't go to music school. Launching these guys around. Got a checkpoint, so it goes a little slower, but that should be good. Yep. All right. John asks, best weapon? Uh, I'm looking forward to the Octobrush, but I don't know what the best weapon to play is. The Duelies were surprisingly really good once you started upgrading them. So we have a vending machine floor, which we could use, but I don't have much money to spend. I have not gotten mobile drone gauge. That is rigorous. Do we take the risk? We're early on. Let's do it. Let's get a chip I have not gotten before. But yeah, Dooley's, uh, that was surprised me. That was the first weapon that I beat it with, so I can recommend those. Reef Slider can get you out of so many situations in this and help destroy the portals. Although I've heard Triple Ink Strike is maybe one of the best specials for this. Can that launch all the way over there? Let's find out. Oop, mostly. Try. Oops. That wasn't what I meant to do, but that's okay. Pearl. Help! I'm out of ink. There we go. Doesn't feel great when you run out of ink with uh, the best. Oop. 
Bounce me up, please. Uh oh, uh oh. No! Well, there goes the life. I didn't realize that was that close to the edge. And my armor was broken, so I didn't use my uh, super jump there. This is rigorous, which is the tougher levels. Toughest levels in the game, basically. Try to get these guys quick. Go! Ooh, 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 uh oh! Here. Crap time. This should shred the portals, I would hope. Yep, there we go. I just missed the other special thing. I'm gonna back up a little until we can get more ink. These little things are helpful if they don't break right before you use them. I have a knack for trying to get something right as it disappears. There we go. Sometimes you want to take the time to get items. There's no time limit on these floors, so... It does help play a little cautious. See if we can get one of these. Bounce me up, please. There we go. Uh-oh. I did not see them behind me. So maybe we can still get the portal from here. Yep, we can. Alright. I don't recommend trying rigorous levels this early, but here we are. Definitely gets easier the more upgrades you have. Whoa, whoa, they're launching each other. Ah! I cannot believe I bounced back from that. Ooh, I could use that armor. There we go. Come on. Alright, we almost have a crab. It should be enough to finish this off. Not if those guys get in the way. Come on. I could really use one more of those discs, because that'll jam the enemies from spawning. Oh, that's armor. Here we go. Uh, we just got a bunch spawning on top of us at the worst time. Right when I went in there to try to hit the portal. We got a chain going, though, which should spawn more items. Get out of here, please. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna have to do a loop, try to dodge these guys, and then get my crab here in a second, if I ink a little more. There we go. Okay. And then hurry, oh no! Timed that, not great. Ah! <laughs> well. <laughs> Last life, man. We can buy more lives, so don't worry. This is what happens when you try rigorous and you're warming up. This is the risk you take. Uh. Okay, if I can get these little jumpy guys, they'll help me get rid of everyone else. Oh no, my back's in a corner. The stages that go up and down are some of the most frustrating because they will give you a really bad, uh, really bad go when you 
are just trying to back up and then a wall is suddenly behind you. Please give me the last disc. Oh, we, we have to start over on our disc because I died. We need three pieces of those discs. Okay, crap time. There we go. That's all I needed to do. That's all it took. <laughs> yeah, Rattlefang, the little guys can be deadly. It's like Salmon Run, where sometimes it's the little guys that get you. Fifth floor clear. This party is officially on, and we snag some pearls, too. You sound pretty chipper, Pearl. Yeah, our world tour finished without a hitch, but we haven't gotten the us time, I promised. I want to get this over with so we can have some real fun. Oh, jeez. Oh, Pearly. Eight. Are they always like this? Huh, we're getting some, uh, some love lore between those two. Okay. I have not gotten run speed up before. Or a canned special drop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for run speed, because let's take an easy level after that one. Rattlefang, they said they're too scared to try rigorous. Trying it early, then that, that's what I recommend, because then you don't have to risk someone resetting your run. Mainly deadly fish is when I say someone, I mean. Weird robot fish made of jelly and bone. This one's not too bad. And yeah, if you played Octo Expansion, don't be afraid by the infinity ball, the eight ball. It's not as bad as it was in that. I think I underestimated run speed a little bit on uh, a weapon that doesn't necessarily need it that much because you can just use it to run away from enemies too. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to have it on something that you want to strafe with. Don't go off the edge, please. Get that over there. Okay. I haven't been using the fizzy bombs as much as I wanted to. Launch that eight ball. <laughs> All right, there's the goal. There's not like a crazy variety of stages, but there's enough to keep it interesting. Okay, so we got splash radius for explosions. Those discs are very useful, as I mentioned before, or we can get the lucky chain. We already have one of those, though. Let's do the splash radius. Encourage me to use my fizzy bombs more. I'm gonna get a sip of my coffee to power up here. Explosion festival. That sounds pretty good. Since we just upgraded our explosions. Okay, portal time. I feel like the destroying the portals might be the toughest of some of these stages. At least to me. Because you can get overrun by these enemies and then taking the portals down is... Uh, no joke. There we go. Yeah, sometimes it feels like the little guys that get you. It's so... <laughs> it makes me laugh every time one of the big Napoleon fish looking ones launches the littler ones. I feel like that's something they should add to Salmon Run. That you can have the, uh, the big ones. Like the Kohawks launch the chums and small fry. Alright, crap time. Crap seems like one of the best portal destroying weapons. Oh, 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 that was close. Jeez. It does let them get up on your business, though, in a way that I don't like. <laughs> there it goes, yeah. That's what you get for launching your little buddies. Some of the enemies actually help you if you defeat them, like that guy turns into a Beyblade. Right, last one. Crab is going to be amazing if I get piercing shots, because the enemies get in the way half the time. 
yeah, very satisfying sound effects in, in Splatoon in general, but also this mode. Haley mentioned the sounds. The music is, uh, it's a little bit, you know, takes the back seat depending on the track, but I'm enjoying the music a lot, too. Let's get the drone ink strike, although this does have a bonus. Hmm. I want to see the drone ink strike. I've heard those ink strikes in general seem pretty good. A uh, tip I got is if you get ink strike and you throw three of them at a portal, that's it. It just takes out the portal. Okay. Yeah, sound design in this game is just... It's always peak. Is this an easy level? I can't remember. <laughs> They're still dropping these big fish on me. You can't even get too close with this or you, uh... It bounced back. Wow, my ink. Ink recovery up would definitely help me here, I think. For the way that I play. I run out of ink so fast. There we go. Down there. No, those are the Beyblades. I'm not even using my bombs that much, and I run out of ink so quick. Uh-oh. <laughs> Big voice. Send another one in. Just roll over the little ones with the crab ball. Okay. What's next? We got a roll of our pallet filled already. A row. Max lucky chain. Swim speed up. Doesn't seem as useful, but... I might have to go for it, because I, I want to get all the chips. I'm going to try it. It is also rigorous. Wish me luck. Hopefully Pearl's ink strike will save me. Pearl The Pearl drone is way more useful than it initially seems once you start upgrading it. Good example is the final boss fight in the last stream. Pearl was MVP. Oh, this one's not too bad, because you can chain him around a little if you get in trouble. You can just kind of run. Make sure you leave yourself enough ink to get over to the next one. Although it seems like they recover. I might do a little bit of giving them the runaround and then go for one. Or wait till I get my crab is the smart thing to do. Something dropped there. Too bad I can't get it. <laughs> a disc! Go, go, go! All right, we got our crab. Well, I can get it if I'm quick enough. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't do that very well. I had to escape. If I hurry, I can still get it before they catch up to me. There we go. I notice I don't have any of the really good upgrades like sticky ink that slows the enemies, or poison ink that hurts them more when they're in it. Oh, here comes Pearl's ink strike. I hope she does it at the right spot. There she goes. Okay, that'll give me time to go over here and do this. There we go. And they're all gonna run around. I do feel like this makes it a little easier when they all run in circles trying to get to you. So it keeps spawning though. Hurry! I may have to bail. <laughs> oh, we got the swim speed. I should really just be swimming like crazy. My bread and butter! Alright, that wasn't too rigorous. Yeah, depending, I have to remember, Acrobatic Triangle, Triangular is a really easy, rigorous one, comparatively. Next is the 10th floor, yeah? Which means, you know what? A boss, yeah. I guess not that, um, that much has changed about this place since we beat Order. Apparently not. I'm reluctant to mess with the system too much, since there's an issue with the pallets. Whatever, it won't be a cakewalk, but we can handle it. No sweat, right, 8? This will most likely be Parallel Cannon. 
Which the name, it doesn't tell you until you get in there. But Parallel Cannon makes me think that it is, uh, we're fighting clones of Agent 4 or something. But there's definitely some sort of, like, funnel boss that was in the trailers I haven't seen yet. Alright, what do we got? Oh, no, it's another, it's this guy again. Is it something Marcial? It kind of reminds me of the Octo World. This is a fun boss, but it can be difficult. Look at it, perfect defense and brutal offense. Sorry, I can't help but admire it. Lyos, the elusive founder, pinging Marcial. Could definitely use some more range against this thing. But yeah, it reminds me of the Octo World. A little bit. Don't get distracted by all the sea urchins hanging out. I might just get my special up before we worry about fighting it too much. Because the crab's gonna do way more damage. Pretty defenseless right now when it's just popping bombs. Alright, it's gonna charge. Good thing my swing swim speed kicked in there. Alright. Shell's open. Thank you, Pearl. With the clutch ink strike there. Oh, maybe we will get the new boss because we got this one earlier. Usually. Oop, thank you so much for the super chat. Don't want to have it hit the bumpers where it does that wave breaker. Gotta be careful about that. Go, big man, go! Charge up my crab meter. Thank you, Average Chris. I will read your super chat in a sec. I'm in the middle of an intense boss battle. <laughs> he even bumps him around. Okay, let's be careful because they're gonna kill their whale here. Uh-oh. They got a little too far for me to actually hit him. A little bit of a waste of a crab there. That's okay. It's this guy's fault. Pearl, don't do that right there. Oh yeah, I have to remember, I only have one life. You do have to be a little cautious. Get my chain going. There we go, thank you for the ink. Ah, chain doesn't last that long unless you upgrade it though. What are you doing? Dropping bombs. They're gonna roll into us. Ugh, I keep getting too close. There we go, shell's open. Ah. <laughs> we broke it a little bit at least. This isn't going too bad, all things considered, but maybe I shouldn't speak so soon. Here we go, drop something. Ink! Get in there. Playing a little cautiously, but you know... I only have one life. Where'd it go? It's landing. All right, we did it. And Average Chris said, hey, Swimmy, I'm a huge fan of your Tomodachi Life videos, and they're still my favorite. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much. Sorry for the delay reading that. I do appreciate the support and the distraction. Okay. Rattlefang misses one, and we would play games with Danielle. Well, you are in a... Danny, we will be playing with soon. That's her preferred name, please. Uh, but Danny is going to be a part of a series very soon. That I've been teasing a little bit, but it's coming up in less than a week. We're infallible, always invaluable, worth incalculable. We catch in fools' throats, call us unpalatable. Hey, speaking of palates, we've seen one, ones for me and Marina. Do eight and I'll have them too? I keep, keep trying to pronounce Ock's name with the German-Dutch 
way and it just sounds like something's in my throat. I did get a signal from one that seemed like eight, but Ock doesn't seem to have a pallet. My guess is that when their soul got pulled into the memverse, it fixed onto Ock before it could get turned into a pallet. Not sure what that means. Guess I got lucky. So if Eight's pallet is in those lockers, we'll find it eventually if we keep opening them. We can't just leave Eight's soul to rot. Let's get busy hunting down locker keys. Okay, yeah, that's part of what we're unlocking here is helping people from this weird matrix verse. The memverse. All right, sticky ink or ink saver sub or I have enough to go to the vending machine. Let's do that. A couple thousand seems safe to go on a shopping spree. Okay. Yeah, you get little lore tidbits as you go around. Someone mentioned, yeah, I think our, is our little Octo mustache a little longer in this than we normally have in the base game? Like we're a little, we're a little larger and we have maybe some more tentacles on the back. Oh, oh. thank you so much friend for the gift membership. Creasy Strange became a member. Appreciate it. Now stock back up on these lives. These are very cheap. Oh, we could get Booyah Bomb instead of Crab, but I'll wait on that. <laughs> uh, and then Pearl Drone Killer Whale. This is an amazing ability, so I think I'm going to buy this. Killer Whale is very helpful when Pearl charges it up. I think I wonder if it has a separate meter from the Ink Strike. That would be great. Uh, let's go ahead and level it more if we can. That's as far as we can go. But she should get those more frequently. Everything checks out. On to the next floor. Alright, welcome to the early birds, Creasy Strange. <laughs> Appreciate all the support, gift memberships, even just hanging out, leaving a like, and subscribing if you want to see more is very helpful. Alright, another vending machine. Switchback floor. Drone splat bomb. Those are pretty good, although drone gauge charge might be a little more helpful. Let's do that. Faster Pearl charges up, the more she can unleash her big booyahs and whatnot. I don't think she actually has a booyah one, but she does the booyah when she screams. So I think of that with the killer whale. Right, so we got two eight balls heading all the way down. Launch them down there. And Pearl's, yeah, she's charging up her meter separately. These big guys, when there's the infinity eight balls, they just go for those. They don't really care about you. That so does make it a little easier. They just want to bounce those around everywhere. That's their weird hobby. There we go. One goes down there. I think the other has to go a little higher up. You're in the home stretch, H. Eight. <laughs> Pearl, stop making me. <laughs> stop making me glide. Getting stuck on the ink rail. I like this ink color. It's a little toothpaste y. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, the ink rails uh, magnetize you a little bit. Can you launch these up the wall with the. Doesn't seem like it. There's the other one. <laughs> no, I don't want to interfere with it. Alright. We got it. So far, I think the eight ball ones are some of the easiest. Usually the portal destroying can be some of the hardest. You can tell the, the symbol on the left. So this is a portal one, this is a tower, and this is chasing those little robo sunfish. Lucky chain is useful. Poison ink, I mentioned before, is very useful. Hmm. That also has a bonus, even though it's rigorous. I'm gonna go for it. Bonus usually just means you get uh, extra money, mem bucks, I believe. 
Okay, on the run. Eternally haunted, is that what it said? Support color chip saturation. Wow, okay. What is that? What did we get? Wow, look at all that. What is the support? It's just ink, all this stuff. Ink recovery main, sub, splat ink recovery. Sticky ink, knockback. Quick charge, homing shots. Okay, this should help a little bit, I would think, right? Where's the tower? You don't want to let these sniper guys live too long. Although I'm having trouble taking them down because they're in a weird spot that I can't ink. Ooh, 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 that's bad. Go, go, go. Okay. Going back to the tower. For the safety of the tower. Oh, there's behind me. <laughs> oh, no. I was not paying attention. Thank you, Pearl. Eat ink strike, suckers! For the towers, you actually have to shoot the tower to get it to move, because you can't ride on it. I'm gonna ignore that sniper for a second. Ugh, I keep forgetting that I can't get ink on these platforms. This is a little unforgiving, but it is rigorous. Crab. I'm gonna try to use it on the tower. Okay, thank you, Pearl. See, I told you, Pearl saves your butt with her specials. Here we go. The tower, when you get through checkpoints, also has that shock wave, which can help to clear a lot of stuff off. What is that? Just oh, it's just ink. Okay. I gotta be careful not to run in. As soon as that item spawns, because I have a bad habit with that. I'm getting overwhelmed by the snipers. Gotta be extra careful. Get him, Pearl! Killer Whale! And Ink! Strike! Okay. No, they bounced him! The worst. Even with all these chips, this is still very difficult. Okay, here we go. It would be great if they stopped spawning the snipers. Get out of here. Busy bomb's definitely putting in the work once I use it. Once I remember to use it. Okay, we're getting close to the end. Pearl, don't ink strike the tower. There we go. A little hairy, but not the not the scariest rigorous level we've done so far. Okay. We got that. I could max out the drone killer, or work towards maxing it out. Hmm. So danger levels are extra tough. Like, they have some weird thing to them. Usually it's like, it's dark, or Pearl doesn't help you. So that's kind of scary to try that. But if you don't do them now, they will pop up later more and more. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for this. Let's get it out of the way. We just did a rigorous level, so a hard level's probably gonna be easier, right? And we're almost at a checkpoint, sorta. We're almost halfway up, actually, because there's 30 floors on this thing. No item drops, oh no! No drops from enemies? Guess we'll have to do this the hard way, eight. Okay. I'm gonna try to save that box and whatever's in there, armor or something. Not the sniper again! I'm 
going for it. With armor, okay. <laughs> yeah, just knock all the other enemies off the side, please. Almost have my crab. They're firing so fast. Whoa, that guy's like corrupted or something. I don't know what was going on with that one, but he was extra scary. I like the idea of a, a version of tower control where you have to damage the tower and it fires ink. Like, if they put this in multiplayer, I think it could be really interesting. Okay. Good timing for that crab. Stuff respawned right when I hit it. Pearl! MVP Pearl! Alright, home stretch. We can do this. Fizzy Bomb might be nice. Come on! This is one of those telephone sounding songs. Hard not to laugh when some of these songs play, because they're so... I don't know. They sound like the inside of my brain. Alright. Let's see... That was just hard, that wasn't rigorous. It felt like it was almost right on the edge. Flash radius, that could be good. Max out. Don't have this drone battery drop. I'm gonna go for splash radius. I think finishing some of these chips would be useful too. And we look like we're going Super Saiyan. Did anyone watch the, the concert? The Splatoon concert? Because Big Man, they all change colors at some point, uh, the Deep Cut members. And I think Shiver turns green, Fry turns red, and then Big Man turns gold, like he turned Super Saiyan or stole the Chaos Emeralds or something. Alright, so we gotta start down here. Doing a lot of towers on this run. Dealing with a lot of floppy fish. I'd like to maximize my crab here. There we go. Oh, they just get that weird, creepy look with all the veins when they're about to charge, I think. Pearl, not the best at aiming those ink strikes, but, you know, I've been known to miss a lot of specials in my day. Limited edition gold big man, said Haley. yeah. He never changes his weird shiny pseudo ink that much normally, so it was kind of weird to see how much it altered his appearance. That sniper still up here? Yep, they are. They can't get me when I'm too far away, luckily. Get him, Pearl! That didn't do that much, Pearl! <laughs> that also didn't do that much. We're right at the end. Come on! <laughs> Some of the sound effects remind me of Earthbound. 
that little worm wing. Sounds like when Jeff's working on repairing something. So that order, well, I guess it's Mollusk now. Spoiler if you haven't seen Order's true identity. What's it been up to since our big win? I wonder about that too. I looked into it and I couldn't find any signs that it left the members. No trace of it outside the spire though. Odds are good that it's still here. It doesn't have enough power to get its tentacles on the real world anymore, so I don't think it's a threat we need to worry about exactly, but... Man, I hope it's not up to any big schemes or whatever. I do not want to rematch. Don't worry, we're keeping an eye out for Smallest. It won't slip through our fingers. Right. Meanwhile, you two should still focus on getting through all the floors. Can do. Speaking of which, after you wait. Okay. What's up next? We got sound wave damage. That would be pretty good. Bonus with the battery drop that I have not gotten yet. Or brush attack. Which we don't have a rushing thing. I will, I'll probably wait till I get the brush to worry about getting a lot of those. Hmm. Unreasonable shelterless up and down. Let's try it. It's a bonus. It's rigorous. We lost our uh, chip saturation, though. This will probably be a bit tougher. But I'm going to go for it. Yeah, every ten floors, there's a boss. Don't use special weapons if we want the bonus. No specials? Well, they're not off limits, I guess, but it might make a fun challenge. Okay. If we start to really get in trouble here, I'm going to have to use a special... Come on. Ooh, too big. They're going to land on me. Come on, Pearl. Back us up. Oh, that was just special. <laughs> I got to really do my best not to use my special here if I want to get the bonus. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I might need to if I'm going to actually survive this. Otherwise, this might be too, too tough. There we go. Pearl's helping. Now, this is not going as well as I wanted. Come over reliant on my crab. Oh, drone gauge up. That's good timing. There we go. Pearl's got it. Just because I can't use specials doesn't mean Pearl can't. Alright. Got a moment to breathe. Don't really need that. Come on! So close! Dip around and get it! There we go. Go, Pearl, go! Well, getting these drone power-ups has been paying dividends. There we go. Maybe that's a lot better of a chip than I thought. Thank you, Gandalf Wisdom, for your kind comment. They were saying they watched the videos when they were growing up. I appreciate you still hanging out with me. Let's see. Main damage distant. That could be pretty good for this. Homing shot or ink saver main. Always helpful for me. The ink waster. Uh, I'm going to try ink saver main. I feel like I kind of resist doing the easy ones unless it's a really good chip. Oh, there's one of those big mola molas sunfish, right? And we got a zone to keep. Okay. That didn't have anything in it. sprinkler guys off of us. Curious what's in that thing.
Oh, I knew it was too good to be true with the enemies we got. Now the sniper guy's here. There we go, thank- Oh, jeez. Pearl saved us. Alright. Didn't even need to worry about the enemies that much. Just had to keep that zone. Any stage that lets you just fly in the air. It's good in my book. Quick charge, that's for snipers, so I will... Oh, that's, wait, main weapon charge speed, that actually works for my Splatana as well, so that might be worth doing. Pink Saber sub. Hmm. Let's get that. I know it's an easy stage, but I want to see if it helps with my Splatana and not just Charger. Seems like it. Some of the chips, like when we did some uh, Brella runs with Marina's palette, they were just like very Brella specific. Okay, we got one over here. Oh no. No, no, no. Uh, this is an easy level, but not if you can't keep the eight ball on the uh, spot it's supposed to be. Ooh, drop something. I want it. Lots of stuff. Where's the other eight ball? One there. This one needs to go all the way up. Oh, I think we can bounce it using those little bounce pads. Where'd you guys come from? Portal right there. There it goes. Bounce it up. That should be it. Did somebody knock it? Oh, they got knocked off. No. Pearl, don't blast it. Hmm, I managed to get it up there last time. I wonder if I should just push it manually. There it goes. Stay up there, please. Good, good, good. I was about to say, it seems like we could use a vending machine, because I have almost 4,000 mem bucks. Lucky bomb drop. Let's do that. Don't need lives, but could up, could be other good stuff in here. And we're right before a boss, so it's nice to have an easy floor before we dive into that. I hope it's the new boss. We'll find out here. I'm sure we'll see it eventually. All right, wave breaker. No thanks. I got crab, drone battery drop, and explosion knockback. Hmm, that could be pretty good. Go for that. Get the drone batteries as well. There we go. Okay. Did you find anything worth buying, eight? Not too much crazy, but I'll I'll get it if it's there. You get less pearls if you leave with less money, but you're killing it so far, eight. But be careful with the boss fight ahead. Yo, Rena, you got any secret weapon stash that could one-shot a boss for us? Since you asked nicely, want to try the prototype spitting fire trip wires I made while developing the Memverse? Oh, that sounds awesome. I said we'd bust them out to blow this boss sky high. Fair warning, they're a bit overtuned. My last simulation showed an 88.8% .8 chance of destroying the spire. Let's retire those trip wires before we expire. They probably don't even exist. They teased us with something we can't use. Hello, Vicky, in the chat. How you doing? All right, cross your fingers. We'll at least get a key if we beat this. Intensifying harmony. Is this it? Oh, this might be those... Yeah, I think this is going to be those little guys. See at the top, don't they look like Agent Floor? Uh, Agent Four <laughs> Floor. <laughs> Start coming as soon as we drop. Uh, we're not seeing the other boss yet. Unfortunate. 
That's okay. Oh, I didn't mean to jump off of there. Their drones definitely give them away. They're evil, evil pearl drones that they have. Try to get a fizzy bomb ready for when they land. There's another one. Oh no, this is the last one. There we go. Pearl, why do you use your killer whale so fast? Okay, here they come. Uh-oh. Triple splash down. Not that tough to avoid, but still scary. Charged her whale so fast it was ready before I had to worry about it. Bro. No, that's a waste, Pearl. That's okay. Send this at this guy. Sort of. That's a Dooley's, right? We got five this time. Uh-oh. A little too close for comfort. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> got him with the Beyblade. One left. Oop, they're right there. All right. Crab sidewind into the key. Yeah, I'm having bad luck getting the other boss, but well, I'm trusting that I'll see it eventually. I think it is randomized. That was impressive, eight. How'd you get so skilled? Huh? Ock, didn't you say that you came back to the members to confirm something? Was that something the secret of how 8 got to be so good? Ha, huh. nah, I'm not interested in being a better soldier or anything. <laughs> That's for sure. I remember how often you'd skip out of combat drills back at school. So then, what did you want to know? Well, not to make a big deal of it, but... You ever been to the Deep Sea Metro Pearl? Whoa, where'd that come from? No, I've never been, though I got pretty close to it once. Must have been five or so years back. Oh, right, the day we went to Extract 8. I still get goosebumps thinking about the force of your shout that day. There it is. So it's confirmed that was Pearl's voice. That's what you were wondering about? Yep, and now I know, so thanks, Pearl. Huh? Thanks for what? And also, you're welcome. I think there's rumors that didn't Pearl's voice... Uh, potentially, like, snap a lot of the Octolines out of their brainwashing or their devotion to DJ Octavio originally. I don't remember for sure the lore. Let's get this hindrance damage. I don't have it yet. It is danger, though. Is it danger and an easy floor? Because that's a weird combination. And we are 10 floors away from the final boss already, if we can make this a successful run. Oh no! Lights out plus ink coating. Too dark to see and the ground's all sticky? Well, it's gonna take more than this to beat us. Okay, so... Is that a portal or an 8-ball? I think that's a ball, right? You can see the jumpy boys. We're out in force. I'm gonna get this this way. I played this level before when it wasn't dark. Uh oh. Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> okay. Gotta get this back there. There's so many drops. I'm missing them. Okay, you get in there, please. If you move around enough, you can see the silhouettes of the enemies. I didn't even realize I was about to beat it. And that's how it's done. <laughs> you don't know you're winning until you have. The dark lore of Splatoon. That's not what they meant. Right, drone ink strike. This piece or ink saber main. Let's try the bonus. Pretty smooth sailing so far, despite I did get dropped down to one life. A while back. We won't worry about that. Circuitous. Oh wow. Power chip saturation. Scope out the temporary power chips. This will be like shooting gelatins in a barrel. I got damage and splash damage as well. That just explosion, so I should use my fizzy bombs. We got the tower to deal with. Wow. <laughs> Seemed like that fizzy bomb hit pretty good. I'm really powering up all of Pearl's drone energy. Getting these things constantly. Okay, let's get the tower. I'm gonna lose my chain. Okay. This is the crazy song. This is the song I was talking about. That's so silly. Oh! Beyblade on the loose. Get that weird little Beyblade out of here. They're everywhere. Go, Pearl, go. Yeah, almost any of the drop power up seems to be overpowered. At least the feeling is there that makes it so much easier when you're getting items constantly. Refilling your ink, filling your special, filling Pearl's special. Build up another row of chips. Haven't been getting that many doubles. We got one early. Hmm. Oh, this is the rough one with the two bridges. Turf lucky chain. We can keep their lucky chain going by turfing. That's pretty good. And then the drone charge. Ah, uh, that's rigorous. Let's do the hard one. There's also, I haven't delved into it, but we keep unlocking lore, like dev diaries from Marina. That's some stuff I might do later in the stream. We can read those. Learn about why Marina made this place. I think usually we get one of those little, yep, these guys pop out immediately. I'm going to try to get them as soon as I can. Oh, I did not do that fast enough, unfortunately. Yeah, this is one of the roughest levels. Whoa! Uh-oh. Go, 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 go! Jeez. Ah! He bounced my crab! I gotta be careful. I'm getting all this pearl stuff as much as I can. Alright, now we're getting a little easier.
Yeah, that one's like you either stay on the bridge and try to not get knocked off, or sometimes getting up in the mix is good because you can get so many items as long as they're dropping. Hmm, another ink strike or the killer whale. Well, we're close to maxing out both of those. I'm going to go for the bonus. This is going to be risky, but here we go. I hope it's not. Don't use your crab tank. Because that was extra difficult. Finding forces striking in unison. Oh no! Is this the one with the... Better not be the one. Don't use sub weapon. Okay, I can do that. This isn't the one with uh, the snipers, at least, hopefully. Oh, no it is. <laughs> there are definitely snipers. Nope. Ooh, I almost fell off the side. Bouncing crab. There we go. Well, that one portal was huge. My item chains were making this much easier. Look at all this going. Just collect everything. I'll let Pearl do the work. Oh, accidentally used a sub weapon right at the end, but I think that's okay. They don't penalize you unless you use too many, like, is it going to count? I think I used one without thinking. Tried to have a victory fizzy pop bomb. All right, danger for mobile ink recovery. I'm going to wait on my vending machine, maybe. Oh, no, we have plenty. Let's do it. The elevator is getting more and more sinister as we go up. And we get bonus pearls just for... Buying a soda. Oh, speaking of bonus pearls, we can just buy them. Curling bomb, drone sprinkler. There's only one of those, so it might as well. See if I can get my drone sprinkler all the way up. Probably not. It's expensive. Ah, sold out. I was hoping to max it out. Okay, we're getting close to the end here. Couple more floors. Huh? We're a long way up. Must be almost at the top floor, yeah? Hey, bro, guess what? We figured out where Smallisk went. To the top floor, probably? Seriously? Oh no, we haven't seen it yet, so I bet I know what you're gonna say. I bet you're right. Smallisk is in the control room on the top floor. Of course it is. I don't like this at all, but I guess we gotta go there anyway. Eyes on the prize, eh? Okay. Main range, flat ink recovery, or ink saver main. That is a danger plus rigorous is maybe too much to risk. Oh, this seems really good. Get my ink back by taking down enemies. We're getting at the ridiculous portion of the run where we have so many chips and pearls going off so much that it's just, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is one where we have to get those scaredy foes that run away. Leave bombs everywhere. Don't let them bomb us. Hmm. Might have gotten a little too focused on the bomb, guys. Pearl, save me! They're jumping. These fish are jumping. Okay. They're all over there. Launch them off the side. I thought I almost beat it with one crap shot. 
Ashley's here. Hi, Ashley. Hope you're having a good time. There we go. Hmm. Hard with danger for the disc drop. Those are useful. Or we can get hand special drop. The bonus. Let's try the bonus. Yeah, the music is such a big thing in these games, but especially in the boss coming up, so the music is amazing in it. Don't jump. Clear the stage without jumping? For serious? I'll try. The tower one, right? Yep. Get my stuff up. Look at all these items. It's hard to stop myself from doing those squid jumps, though, is the problem. Okay. Ready to go. Got a million items. Pearl can handle killing everything, and I'll focus on the tower. It's so hard to break my habit of jumping up walls and jumping all over the place. Uh -oh. Jeez, where'd all this stuff come from? Another one of the silly telephone tracks. They keep sneaking up on me. Gotta be actually careful. Go, crap, go! I don't know what type of fish that is. It's sort of angler fish like that has those little things on its head, but they're real frustrating because they send these explodey guys after you, as you can see. Pearl has so many batteries. She's just throwing them in the trash after. Pearl, this is how we got the apocalypse. You need to help save the environment. Jeez. <laughs> the chance of items is so high. Like every other enemy drops something. We are on, I think, this is 428 now? Yep, after that. We're very close to the boss. I'm curious what's going to happen since we beat the boss once. Horizontal slash speed, that seems good. Lunge attack. Mmm. With rush attack, it would be even better. So it, when you dive, or you, you slide in, it attacks as you move, maybe? Kind of curious about that. But it's rigorous. I'm going for it. We've almost filled up the pallet. I gotta pick what weapons I wanna prioritize because you get the weapon skin when you beat them, so. I shouldn't speak too soon. We might not actually beat this if I'm trying these rigorous levels. Another tower. Hit this guy. There we go. Oh my gosh, so many things. Oh, I forgot some of this is uninkable. I'm trying not to jump, I don't need to worry about that anymore. Sometimes I have to remember what challenges are still going. Go.
I gotta focus on the tower or we're not gonna beat that. Oh! Jeez. Pearl saved me. So when you get three parts of the disc, it jams the portal so it won't spawn stuff for a little while. Doesn't last that long, but it did help. We keep getting the telephone song, it's crazy. Oh my goodness! Look at all this stuff! Where is the tower? All the way over there. Help me, Pearl. There's too much going on. <laughs> Pearl really does save your butt when things get crazy. She'll just blast everyone. Best feeling is when you're in a crab and you bounce in the sky on those little sonic springs. Here we go! That's a lot of enemies! Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, we are at the intense, bonkers portion of the run, if you couldn't tell. Max Lucky Chain, Quick Charge again. That could be helpful, but I keep forgetting to even charge anyway sometimes. I got a Horizontal Strike that's upgraded. Did I? I got that lunge, didn't I? And I didn't even try it out. Lunge attack. I gotta remember to do that. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the quick charge. We don't even have the lucky bombs, which are a whole other level of insanity where they just drop and blow up every time an enemy drops one. Eternally Vigilant Soaker Blockade. Protect the zone. That's a big zone! Oh no. Oh, we gotta deal with these guys. Oh, uh, yeah, I have not tried this level before. I would have remembered those little blocks. Yeah, ink strike the zone. Perfect. Oh, we can block the enemies by just shooting these platforms over. Look at that. And then they can't get through. It just, yeah, it sets a barricade up. And they only get through the one spot. That works. I'm gonna try my lunge attack. Oh, too late. <laughs> All right, final boss time. And then I gotta decide if I wanna get a different weapon skin. Good old top floor, you think that smallest twerp is here? Yeah, it looks like it's holed up in the control room. Fingers crossed it lets us reconfigure the pallet in peace, but I'm not holding my breath. We might have to fight that creep again. Stay sharp, ape. All right. It's only one little baby octopus, right? There it is. They were calling it baby puss before, which is funny. Pearl was, at least. Who's she talking? She's like a baby squid. Well, he's just watching cereal commercials like a real little kid. These are ads for Minkopolis Square. Aw, there he is. Whoa, hey there, Smallest. Don't mind us, buddy. We'll be out of your way in a sec. So, like, anytime you want to step aside is good. You've got some nerve showing up in my play womb and running your mouth. Quaff! I'll break your, your tentacles if you don't play with me. He reminds me of the kid from Spirit Away, Bo. Yo, does it seem kind of different from the way Order acted? 
Kinda, your whale might have sh uh, sh sheared off some core data in our last battle. I can't quite tell if they're computer data or a real little octoline octopus. You wound my dweem, and not just mine, everyone else's too, you big stinking wanton meanies. This time I'm gonna chop you into teeny weeny octo bits. Uh oh, okay. I should have figured. The Overloader. Overloader is back. Oh, it's a little different atmosphere. I'm all waiting for a fight, please. But the music is different. Super chumps. This guy flates dirty. He even uses a stinger, which is an outlawed special. <laughs> Trying to save my crab for when he opens up his shield. Here we go. He's super chumping again. That definitely was easier than the first time we fought him. Get that damage. a cool effect when I use the lunge attack with that chip now. I also like that these portals linger higher up so they don't hit you as easily. Yeah, once again, Pearl MVP just spamming specials on this thing. Target it. Okay. I thought it was trying to hit the thing instead of me. Uh oh. Ugh. I'm not sure if I like this song better than the one that played originally, but they're both really good. Okay, last phase here. Might as well use my crab. Uh oh. Uh. Swim, swim, swim! It's the stinger! Ah, he got me. That was a bad time to crab. Stinger is very scary. That smallest plane for keeps. Now we can see exactly how many tentacles we got to deal with. Super chumps, they're not bad. They seem to just stick around where he is more. Stinger is... The stinger and the reef slider he'll use are the scariest. armor over there. Trying to get that quick. Ugh. Yeah, this is just the time to run when he's stinging. Reef Slider. This is also a runaway special. We're doing it. Thank you so much, Ashley, for the gifted membership. Makeshift hat became a member. Welcome to the early birds, makeshift hat. Uh oh. Reef Slider again. 
these evil little reef sliders. Makeshift hat became a member. Well, we heard you the first time, but thank you. Uh oh. Not the stinger! Run out of ink here! Ah! I tried to use my uh, squid roll to get through it, but it didn't, didn't quite work. It's running away! I'm playing this one a little too fast and loose here. He's chumping, this is our time to do it. Steven, thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> we got two songs going at once. It's a collaboration between Off the Hook and Deep Cut. Oh, actually, this, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can run fast enough because my armor broke. Okay, I think we're all right. I just gotta hurry and take that one down. Oh no, we're in trouble. Go, go, go. All right, we're okay. Jeez. He's giving me some trouble here. Despite the fact that we've won this fight before. I might have had better chips back then. There we go. Pearl's using her disc. Not the best crab use on my end. Got it. There we go. One more. Come on, Pearl! Okay, it's about to break! We're so close, come on! Stop spitting out fish! Uh, that's it. Alright. Chaos. Baby puss down. I don't know if we're gonna get the second phase anymore. Doesn't seem like it. Aww. No, you cheaters beat me again. No fair, no fair, no fair. Nice going, eight. Another pallet reconfigured. Fine then, but this isn't over. I'm gonna keep twying with everyone's dreams. Stealing everyone's dreams. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite boss designs. Steven mentioned. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Steven! And Ashley for the gifted membership. Pets 2KK became a member. Got five of them coming in. Welcome to the early birds, everyone. He's angry. <laughs> And we got all three of our keys. Cold Rainy Day Liu San became a member. And uh, it only took two more minutes than my first run through. Some of that was explaining mechanics. Okay. Yeah, last one was like 52 minutes, I believe. Weasley became a member. All right, let's get our keys. And we got our Order Splatana replica. So now I can zip around looking cool with this. You catch what Spala said about doing this for everyone's dreams? Who's the everyone there? Sweetie Rex became a member. Wanna crack open one of those lockers, eight? Let's see what we got. At least one new pallet. We got a Marina Dev Diary. I think the pallets are randomized. Jet Hull became a member. There we go, that's all five. Oh, this is... DJ Octavio is a Splatling main? I didn't know that. And he likes getting those extra drone chips with Pearl, which makes sense because they they use soldiers to fight for them. We've got Booyah and Splash Wall. What the? Even Octavio has a pallet here? He used to be your boss, right? We'll put this thing to work as revenge for him running you ragged. I mean, he didn't work me that hard, but we're going to get a lot of use out of this anyway. Sorry, sir. 
We got one more. 40 pearls. Okay. We've opened about a third of the lockers now. But there's still pallets we ain't seen yet. What kind of weapons do you think they'll have? Even if they're weapons you're not sure about, eight, my hacks might help you clear the tower anyway. Just say the word so I can help. Alright. Look at these little guys. Weird brainwashed bleached jellyfish. <laughs> I guess that's what they are. Oh, he's this guy's got the robot little fish bones stored everywhere. They're this is Cypher of Cypher Siftings. Let's see, did we unlock any more? Yep, we did get more stickers. A dream tapestry. It's one of those weird creatures they're riding around on. And then, ooh, a new banner we could get with Pearl Drone. And a new piece of gear, Order Regulator Replica. I want to see what that looks like on my guy. Should we spend the pearls, though, because there's other pieces of gear to unlock. I don't know if I want to spend them yet. Hmm. I might hold on to my pearls. I want to know what else we're going to get. Could use them on this stuff, too. Any other things unlocked? So much stuff. We could up our Membux reward. Risky reward. Oh, yeah, that's if you don't use hacks. Some of these could make it way easier, like weakening enemies. Hmm. I kind of think we're doing pretty well with what I have, so maybe I should save my pearls up for some gear. This is launch height. I think we did pretty well with what we, uh, what we had. Although this could be useful, right? Broken armor speed. I've had some times where I was in trouble. My armor broke and I have to swim away. Oh, it barely increased it. That's okay. I think I'm going to leave it as it is. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's the bias. I think I always thought I was buying the double chips before and I accidentally got that. That's fine. <laughs> the only other thing, I think it's good to invest in all these sub weapons. For Pearl, because then we will actually see them pop up and I can get the chips for it. First bomb. And then I'm going to save the rest after this. So yeah, we don't need this really, right? That could be really good, though. Oh no, this does unlock chips. I'm getting all the Pearl chips. And then we'll save. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to get anything, no. I'm just curious what other gear is on the way. I don't want to spend all my pearls in one place. And then the drone I Okay. That's good. You get these unlocked, which means you don't actually start with them. You have to still get the chips for them, but that's fine. Okay, well... We have this new pallet here. Pretty cool looking splatling. I might go by the appearance. What weapon is the coolest looking? We got this, and now we just got fries done. Hmm. The Brella looks pretty cool, but we got a new Brella on the way. Look at the, the glittery ink of that roller. I'm kind of curious in trying the Tri-Stringer. I know it's probably going to be tough, but it seems like it could be fun. Shiver's palette. Okay. Yeah, it tells you what type of chips. Most common tones for your chips. And second most common tone. Yeah, maybe we'll try hers. Might do one more run here. I'm gonna try the tri stringer. Get the two new weapons out of the way. This could be really rough though. I guess when we start getting chips it'll be easier, but this is a weapon that I could see being a problem to do well with. Maybe more than the charger, for me, at least. Let's give it a shot. Mm -mm. Alright. Yeah, Marina's orange suit and Pearl's spacesuit that she spent millions or billions on. I heard a rumor that we might get those, but we'll see. Um... Hmm... How do we want to start? 
Well, that seems really good to start with because she'll just be charging up her drone gauge constantly. Let's try. Yeah, where's Big Man's pallet? He probably has the slosher because that's his signature weapon. And then if I get lucky, we got a couple chances to see the boss that I haven't seen. The pallets are randomized in the lockers, though, I think, so you can only get the ones you get. Alright, turf defending. Oop, didn't do that good. <laughs> So it's like level one charge gets you the ooh, gets you the explosion, right? And then it just puts it closer together if you charge further. If I'm remembering how stringers work. Uh-oh. Rough start for me. Go, 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 go. These little jerks. Almost got my killer whale again already from all that. What is this? Toxic. Uh, toxic mist might be a sub weapon I will replace sooner than later. There we go. All right. Yeah, it is a little funny that uh, Shiver and Fry having their weapons a little swapped seeming is uh, strange. But, you know, Samurai use bows, too. They don't just use katanas. But also Big Man. They just didn't have another new weapon for him, so they had to give him the slosher. Makes sense. I don't know. I, could, I can see him using it. Dancing around, just throwing buckets of ink. Hmm. Let's go for the reward I haven't gotten yet. Although getting Pearl's Killer Whale sooner than later is probably smarter. We'll get all the chips eventually. I don't want to make it too difficult on myself too soon. All right, coffee power, let's go. I have not played as much Stringer as I would like. I don't really have to charge it that much if I'm just hitting the enemies, right? Because... Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was bad. Um, because the explosions are what you get for charging it. Right? I should probably learn the mechanics of the stringer a little more in depth. <laughs> Oop, we got the grind rail. I'm sure this thing will be a beast once I level it up a little bit. There we go. That's pretty good at if you get all three arrows on the portal, it seemed like it took it down pretty quick. Main ink coverage, that could be good. I'm not worried about swim speed that much. Mobile drink gate, or mobile drone gauge. I was thinking of my coffee. <laughs> hmm. Let's try to max this out. Everyone's talking about coffee now. I guess I could practice on the training dummy if I wanted to uh, quickly remember <laughs> the intricacies of the price finger. And the benefit of charging it longer is you put your shots close together so they all hit, right? Up there. <laughs> If I want to ink, I should be tapping. If I want to hit one thing, 
to be charging. There we go. Yep, this is our third, uh, third hopefully successful run through. It's my, what is this, my sixth run overall? I beat it, yeah, that was my second time beating it a couple minutes ago. Be curious, charge storage. Hmm. Storing a charge with the stringer is kind of funny. I could save that, though, maybe, eh? Wow, that's good. I, I want to get the rewards I haven't gotten yet, but at the same time, that seems like that would be amazing. Yeah, I wish some of these ink colors were in normal multiplayer, but I get that it's a little different when you are playing with other people. You gotta have the ink more distinguishable. Get off of that. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I talk to the enemies like I talk to my cats. Drop it. Stop eating the infinity ball. Freeze frame in the air. Oh yeah, the reflux doors charge. I don't even... Yeah, it charges so fast, I forget about that. Again, I'm a little rusty on my bow knowledge. Hmm. Let's get this. Explosion festival. Speaking of festivals, I'm curious if uh, we're going to see Springfest with Off the Hook, because we're not going to have a, the next uh, next Splatfest is going to be the special Springfest rather than a normal one. Uh-oh. Not smart. <laughs> I let him get too close. The disc. I don't want to back myself into a corner, even if I feel like I'm about to get hit. I feel like this thing does, does good single target damage, but can struggle if I have multi-targets to deal with. I can get ganged up on too easy. Sometimes it does feel at least it's doing decent damage from uh, farther away than I was dealing with with the Splatana. Just a very different play style. All right, what's up next? I don't. That's almost useless with the ink, uh, the toxic mist I have. Even though we might change it later. Endurance damage, very good. And wave damage also very good with what we have. Get that hindrance damage. Since we're inking a lot, that should help a lot too. And I'm crossing my fingers we're going to see the unique boss this time. I'm a little surprised there's only four bosses in this, including the final boss, but it is a side DLC thing and not a big, huge campaign. Oop, jeez. Got a little too risky there.
These guys don't really seem to care about me that much. They're like, yeah, we're, we're kind of focused on the tower. We are just starting out, but I feel like some of these levels are way easier. I don't know. Maybe they're going easy on me, because the Tri-Stringer is uh, not always the best weapon for every situation. They do kind of look like bullet bills, yeah. Broski. Hmm. Special charge would be good. Main range also seems pretty good. Try this mobile special charge. We run around a lot with this bow. Might as well earn something for it. Don't glide. Okay. It's gonna make me glide immediately. Okay. Oop, she's. I already forget what our objective is over oh, going after the little fish. Get them all! <laughs> They're all grazing together. Oh, they were trying to look like one bigger fish. They were doing the schooling thing. And I just smacked him with my Beyblade. This beast drop. Main piercing. Okay, this is an amazing ability. Turn our tri stringer into a charger, basically. Okay. Uh oh. Sound got weird. There we go. We're going uphill. This really looks like a Breath of the Wild or a Tears of the Kingdom shrine thing. Having these big boulder physics everywhere. Where did my orb go? It's all the way back. I wonder if I can blast it with the killer whale. There it goes. It's going over the barrier almost. Hurry before we spawn any more. Come on. It also helps that it magnetizes. I don't know if the 8-ball in the old Octo expansion was that forgiving. I just know it flies off the edge constantly in that. Yeah, just like the, the water and the boulders. Or the one where it's like a big pachinko thing where they all fall down on you. In Breath of the Wild. Ink damage. Hmm. And the pearl drone. That's pretty good. Main damage close. Coverage between crosshairs. That's one of those really bad ones. That's the one with the snipers, right? This might be easier with this weapon, though. Bombardment. Bombarded Relentless. I'm gonna try this one, even though this was one of the worst level, like, one of the toughest levels. Because you're running in between, the sprinkler guys are jumping. Somberlin, thank you so much. 12 months as a Tubby and Gigi Treat Giver member. They said, hey friends, a whole year now supporting Adam. Love the community so much. Thank you so much, Somberlin. I really appreciate your support. We're gonna clear this difficult floor for you. So that does... It does weigh more if you just hit it. But if you're going for a group, the explosion is better, I guess, right? Yeah, it's this one. There's a center thing. Don't forget you can glide to get the zones. But you gotta be very careful because these little jerks are the worst. Is there another one going already? Nope. Okay, got both of them. Honestly, yeah, this should be way easier with the weapon that I have because I can kill the sprinklers. 
and deal with the chargers easier. I was doing this with the dualies last time, which was really frustrating. I don't recommend doing this with a short range weapon. I was just running back and forth, gliding between platforms, trying desperately to keep the enemies off of my ooh, zones. I'm having a hard time getting that sniper though. We got it, okay. <laughs> so much easier. I don't remember how long that took me before, but not fun with the dualies and the curling bomb was my sub, so I could barely hit the zone. If you get the right angle, you can reef slide into the zones, but... All right, boss time. Please give me the one I haven't seen. Thank you again, Somberlene, for a whole year of supporting the channel. Appreciate y'all. Oh, this is it. Okay, this is a new boss. It was in the trailers. Music is, uh... Interesting. <laughs> Let's try it. What's this funnel looking thing? I don't know, but I don't want to land in it. It looks like HAL 9000. A layered rotorator, asynchronous rondo. Another, another uh, music term. It's got a searchlight. I don't like that. This really reminds me of one of the Pikmin 2 bosses, the man at arms or whatever. Oh wow, look at all the layers of eyes. I'm gonna hide behind this. It's spinning! Oh my gosh. It's got stingers. I should have inked this area better! It just keeps stingering. Bounce over him! Okay. It's looking pretty wobbly. Time to go for the finisher. Don't let it track me. Got more eyes the higher up you go. Uh oh, it found me! Ah. <laughs> go, go, go! I'm in trouble. <laughs> it's like a prison break. C cover my back, Pearl. Running for our lives. Ooh, yeah, it's like a weird spinning fan up there. I don't like it. If I move back, it doesn't sting me as much, right? Ooh. Jeez, the stingers are like one of the toughest things to avoid in this game, I feel like. Very spooky in here. Get it with the killer whale. I completely forgot I even have toxic mist. I haven't used it at all. Pearl's got my back. Okay, we got rid of the radar. <laughs> it's not too bad, but it's very scary when you get spotted. It sounds like it's screaming at me. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. I don't know if we want to glide on top of it. Is this bad? Yes. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna die because I decided to land on the giant blades. Booyah, take that. Okay, we're fine. This is a little inky. <laughs> I was like, oh, should I? Let's let's try to land on the giant spinning blades on top. That'll work. Roomba of Doom. A little bit. Like a funnel, a Roomba, HAL 9000, and a prison complex all. 
built into one. What a relief to see you both okay. Nice moves, though I shouldn't be surprised. We added on lock. Remember this feeling as we keep climbing, eh? All right. We got plenty of mem bucks. Could upgrade that killer whale. Could get more ink recovery. Let's see what we got. I would love to replace my sub weapon with something better. Toxic mist. Just not helping me. Especially if I don't use it. <laughs> this feels like a waste of ink a little bit. What do we got? Hmm. I think the killer whale's doing well. I will buy some pearls. Thank you. And then item bought. Ooh, I don't have this chip yet. I haven't bought it at all. Let's level it a little. Okay. Good to go. Vending machine reset hack lets you change the vending selection. Ask me about it outside the spire. Oh, I forgot that was even an option. I haven't even shuffled any of the vending machines, or especially but the uh, these. The floor, you can shuffle these, and I keep forgetting. I just go with whatever sounds good. Hmm. This could be pretty bad, but I could get that charge storage that I have not unlocked yet. Or more hindrance damage. We want to take it a little easy. Alright, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm getting the unique chip. I don't think I really need it, but I'm getting it. I want to unlock all the chips. The cool ranch, the spicy. I'm enjoying the DLC quite a bit. Thank you for asking. Get it, Pearl. Keep these fish at bay. This thing definitely is quicker at destroying the portals if you have the range to do so. If you're getting overwhelmed, I would prefer to have the Splatana or the Dooleys, but... Definitely nice at, uh, oh, I should have got this earlier. Ooh, 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 hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Don't chomp me while I'm riding my elevator. Got a coffee mug that says that. Just keep us spawning. No! Ah! So if your armor's broken, you don't get that extra jump when you fall off the edge. I gotta be a little more cautious. Well, at least this reset all the enemies. Also remembering to use this elevator to help me. Come on. Alright. Pretty rigorous. Hmm. Yeah, Pokemon isn't on the agenda right now, Steven, but I would like to get to it sooner than later, before we have another generation. We got Pokemon Day coming up. And special drop double chip. Delicious. Rush attack, that could be good. Or run speed. I'm gonna go for the double chip. Mm. Thank you for the reminder, Charchu. Beat the bling foes. This should be pretty good with the explosions on the uh, stringer. I land it, right?
Or I could just try to target them all. Oh, welcome to the early birds. Average Chris. Became a member. Appreciate the super chat and the membership join. Welcome to the early birds. I thought I would have hit one of these guys with my killer whale, but I didn't do it right, I guess. Here we go. This will get him. Alright, half of them gone. Ooh, I don't want to go up there. <laughs> but we're going up anyways. You guys get to there they are got them both new member do i still have a i had a special thing for like new member that we were using for uh back in back when i didn't have the alert set up for some reason the uh the alert doesn't always trigger when it's a normal membership instead of a get a gift one don't quite know why. A little weird with that. That that seems pretty good for this. Weapon. Main coverage, always good. You get the mine. That might... Yeah, I want to see what this is like. We just bought this. And we're almost halfway up the tower again. I gotta try to break my record. I shouldn't be dilly dallying. Another one of these. Thank you. Pearl, get him. Oh, wow. Average Chris. There we go. You got your, got your alert. Go, big man, go! They said, you're my child and I have to support you for all the years of entertainment you gave me. Much love, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for... Th that was your third super. What we got here? Hmm... I keep not doing this one, even though it was fun in the tutorial. But, oh no, that's not the squid roll one. That's for rushing on the reef slider in the brush. I'm going to save that for the arc of brush. Let's get mobile ink recovery. Even though it's rigorous, I'm going for it. Okay. I feel like the final boss is going to be pretty easy with the tri-stringer. I don't want to speak too soon, but just because of the damage it does. Launching fish so quickly. Oh, I remember this level. These little snipers are so annoying. Don't launch me off. That's the worst. You don't really want to have your back to the wall when those guys launch you. Ooh, Pearl's mine. Pearl's everyone's. No, Pearl used her ink mine is what I meant. Let's focus on the tower before I get overrun again. Just asking me where to put the ink mines. How's the spot for one? Yeah, I don't know. Just do it. This is too intense. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. Mines definitely are helping keep them off of me a little bit, but not as much as I would maybe want. There we go. They knock them back a little, which is definitely helpful.
Go, go, go. Stuck at this checkpoint for a while. I keep getting surrounded on both sides when I go up there. It seems safe, but it's kind of a death trap. Go, Pearl, go. Mine them up. Checkpoint. Problem is, every time you get through a checkpoint, they spawn more. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh my gosh. That 0.1% of armor speed saved me. Probably not. Get out of here, you. So annoying. Combination of the Octarians and the Stingers from Salmon Run. Feels like. They're a little bit more like snipers than, than the Stingers. Check point. Good, good, good. Go, go, go. Oh, that's not worth it. <laughs> I probably should just throw Toxic Mist everywhere to keep them from getting near me. Alright, wow. That beeping blaring was uh, a little stressful. <laughs> See, I was like, use your Toxic Mist. It did actually help. It kept them away from me. Hey, Ock, do you remember the game I made way back when? You were the only one of my our classmates who ever managed to beat it. Oh, right, the rhythm game that ran at, like, 88, 888 BPM. Yeah, I remember now, and I'm getting nauseous thinking about it. Did Marina design Squid Beats? Unfortunately, I don't think Squid Beats came back. I actually made an even harder sequel. Are you kidding? Why? I told you over and over to widen the timing window and reduce the number of notes. I just thought it would be boring if it was too easy, and Pearl beat it without even blinking, so. Well, she's a robot. The thing when you hear a sound and press a button, that was supposed to be hard? Unbelievable. End scene. That was a little comedy skit. Hmm. Let's try this one. Special charge up. I don't have that at all yet. Okay. Rigorous. Is it rigor? It's dangerous. Stronger gelatins. The enemies on this floor are gonna be a handful. We gotta fight smart and uh, play it safe. It's no, it's hard and, and danger, not rigorous at least. Oh, I can just stay in the middle and snipe these guys. Sort of. Except they're extra scary. Let's use the jump between things strat. Whoa. I do not like these guys. <laughs> they're faster, they're stronger, they're more annoying. Abuse the AI by going between. I can't even get my items because they're just going to charge me. Okay. Hurry, get that special charge. Shouldn't be too afraid of them. Ooh, maybe I should be more afraid. They're the little ones are really tough even. Gimme. Slow him down. Come on. Okay, where's the last thing? Over there. Oh my gosh. They're flying everywhere. Is 
Don't follow me. <laughs> ah! Little guy alert. Oh no! I went over right as they all spawn. Well, I keep aiming down trying to hit this thing and I end up aiming into the ground too much. We got it. Whew. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, spoilers for the reward for beating this, if you didn't see it, but Squid Beats is not available in the spot it should normally be in. It is there, but there's just a little inkling or octoling playing it, and you can't interact with it. Main piercing, main rain. Hmm. Let's keep going with damage. I feel like when we first beat, yeah, on our first run when I beat it, it was be partially because I upgraded my main damage so much. I definitely need to get a new extra life when we find a any machine. Jeez. <laughs> I thought we were okay, and then I accidentally uh, forgot one enemy. Oof. Do not leave these explosive guys around. They will explode on you, as we just saw. Average Chris, thank you so much again. Big Band thanks you by shaking it over my special meter. Ugh. <laughs> Gotta watch those projectiles. There we go. Get him out of here. Don't let him hatch any of this weird little baby. They said, gotta go, enjoy the rest of the stream, much love, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. With your support, we will defeat that cute little baby octopus again. Alright, we got it. They're not even gonna spawn more enemies. Yeah, lives definitely aren't guaranteed in the vending machines Vicky is mentioning. I'm not banking on it. They're pretty common, but... Oh, here we go. Speaking of which. Or we can get hindrance damage or squid attack. I did fully upgrade that before. Oh, it only has on or off. Let's check the vending machine. I would love to get my extra life. Just to be safe. Three lives is... Triples is good. Triples is safe. Okay. Watch the beautiful fish in the background. Yep, there we go. Perfect. It seems like if you are down a life, they're pretty common to see, but... Max Lucky Chain. I'm gonna keep my Killer Whale. I'm sure the Brella has the Ink Storm, so we'll use that with that. Get the Lucky Chain up a little bit. I always don't have enough to get all three. Check under the vending machine. Might be some men bucks there. Or not. She got me last time with that. I actually did go back and look and try to find them. Okay, splash radius for explosions. Very good for this weapon, I would think, with the explosive, explosive arrows. Hmm. Do I risk a rigorous to get my ink saver main up even more? Invading Drove's Fortress. I'm gonna try it. We're at the point, though, where so many ink refills drop that you don't run out of your ink as much. Ooh, look at this green. What's this one again where they go in the center? Oh, 
and they go right over the zone and try to get <laughs> cover it when you're trying to get through. Wait, grab these until my special's gone. There we go, and it's up again. Convenient. Just constantly keep my special filling up. Ah, oh, we didn't get one that time. We go. <laughs> the bow is really good bouncing because you're just constantly firing even when you're moving so much. Wow, that was rigorous. Maybe with a different weapon. Not with the tri stringer. Alright. Next boss. Is it Mar was it Marasil or Parallel Cannon? Elusive Bounder. It's this guy again. Hmm. This will be interesting with this weapon. This is probably my favorite boss so far of the ones in this, even though it's kinda tough. Pending. Pinging Martial. I will remember its name by the next time we fight it, hopefully. Well, this is probably really good against them because it just pierces. Alright, it's open for attack. Uh-oh. I was banking on bouncing on that thing. You do not want to hit them into all these uh, bouncies, because they killer whales every time they bounce like that. Bumpers is the real word for it. Uh-oh. Keep spamming Killer Whale. I don't even need to get close to this thing. It's gonna charge me pretty soon, I think. Yep, here it goes. Boing, oing, oing. The Serena keeps making me think it's like a splat zone, the way it has lines around it. Alright, final phase. Marina gets paid every time that jingle plays. And Pearl, but she's in horrible debt from buying her Space suit. One more killer whale, maybe you'll do it. Gotta be close to dead. 
Maybe Pearl's killer whale, not mine. Oop, I missed the springy. There we go. Easy. <laughs> yeah, so far, smooth going. I'm just really worried if eventually I want to try to beat it with charger or blaster weapons. I don't tend to be as good with because that's going to be tough for me. That was incredible, 8. I already knew you were good, but not this good. Oh, you finally noticed? 8 is incredible. And Pearl's incredibly, incredibly incredible. Isn't that right, 8? <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. The thing I'm getting from a lot of this, these exchanges is that Marina and Pearl, Marina X Pearl is true and they, they just love each other so much. Hmm. Let me speed. Let's do the vending machine. All right, 10 floors and we're out of here and we'll finish up. Don't forget, we got Golden Grisco weekend coming up, which is all the Grisco weapons in rotation. Only Grisco weapons, so that's really fun. It is on Salmon at Smokeyard. And then the new season in less than a week now. Good attack. Main piercing's pretty good. Another of those. Maybe two. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna leave squid attack. Rest while you can, ominous. Hmm. Special charge up. Homing shots is probably really good with this because they'll fly all over. I would think. But I kind of want the bonus. I keep forgetting the bonus is so enticing, but it's just usually extra money. It's a fun challenge, though, to not... to do whatever they tell you. Talk about order. <laughs> Don't use specials, no! For 250 mem bucks. At least it's this one. These, these guys aren't too tough. Here. Don't quite have the range to get him too easily. I'm sure this is like extremely easy for Charger because you can just snipe him from across the map. But then Charger would struggle with a bunch of other challenges. Oh, I could Toxic Mist them and then they can't run away as easy. I didn't think about that. There we go. Yeah, Toxic Mist is useful. Occasionally, situationally. Uh, it's not like it's bad, it's just not as good as some of the other special or sub. Saved by Pearl Drone. Right as my armor. Yeah, I turned into like a D100 there. Double dope decahedron or something. Dice looking. As my armor came back. Squid attack. Ink recovery. Splash radius. Let's get the splash radius. I should have got that before. That was a pretty close one. You do, if you have the hack that lets you super jump when your armor breaks and you fall off the edge, it does help you, but a lot of the time when you fall off the edge, your armor's already broken, unfortunately. Worth the turbine. Now. Oh, there's turbines everywhere. They're fans, but I almost thought we were going to have to get blasted by these things the whole time. Luckily, doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, 
And I keep grabbing the special refill too fast. You gotta wait till your special's actually fully gone. Or it wastes it. Like right now, if I wait, there we go. Two of them refill the whole thing. There's Pearl's Ink Mine. The Ink Mines are kind of unsung heroes of this, because I don't think about them, but they do seem to be helping me when they actually work. Oh jeez, I didn't realize one of those guys spawned. He sent all his babies after me. Ah, I played too reckless. Tower's still over there, luckily. Some of these seem to really reset if you mess up, but luckily this one isn't one of those. Yeah, I should be prioritizing getting rid of those anglerfish looking guys. They're the worst. Okay, we almost beat it. Come on! Got it. <laughs> it's very fulfilling when you're about to get killed by 100 fish and you beat it. Hmm, what do you recommend for beating the final boss? Reef Slider and Stingray, yeah, definitely run when they're using those. Making sure you have a weapon that can ink the arena good is uh, something I would recommend because you need to run from Reef Slider, Stingray, especially, or they'll he'll destroy you. Uh, anything with really good ink, I beat it with the Dooley's first try, but Stamper wasn't too bad. Just did that earlier. Hmm. I forgot I could store charge. I haven't been using that. Let's get more main damage. But yeah, whatever, I would say whatever weapon you're comfortable with the most, go for that if you have it unlocked. 100% ass charge you. I'm not sure if I'm going to get, like, I want to try to get all the chips, all the pallets and stuff. That's my goal, but depends on how much people want to see, honestly. I'm enjoying it. Even though it's the type of thing where it's going to be, a, you know, a bit repetitive if you play through it a bunch of times. But I do like having all these rewards and reasons to play through it so much. Hey, I knew that was going to happen. Little stinkers. Hey, don't knock me out of here. Well, that was a bad time to drop. Right, the other one has to go here. Take it around this way. This song is... <laughs> well, it was really nice and peaceful for a second there. It had a brief moment. And then it intensified again. Okay, go, go, go! Got it. Wow, 400% extra coverage stamper. I want to see what that looks like. Alex asks, is this a, a mix of the modes and a single player roguelike? It's actually, I do, I feel like the term roguelike sounds better, but it's actually roguelite, like L-I-T-E, because it has only a few elements of the game rogue. 
rogue likes are the ones that are way more strict where you die you lose everything this you can you know upgrade stuff you get rewards even if you fail you're not starting over fresh every time technically flash damage Hmm. Let's get splash damage. Got a bonus. But yeah, it's got so a single player with some of the multiplayer elements remixed, mixed in, new bosses, rewards. Gonna play any Mario games again, ask Beto. I would like to finish the uh, RPG. We're pretty close to the end, I think. Don't jump. Um, but yeah, right now, I think other than Princess Peach Showtime, we don't have too many Mario games on the way. Oops. I play so many RPGs that I am more interested in, uh, in the Peach game, I think, a little bit. Although, I have heard Thousand Year Door is amazing, but I probably should try that when I have a chance. We don't know when that's coming out yet. That's sometime this year, though. I love being able to just constantly stream all these specials together. Especially one like the Killer Whale, where you can just kind of do it and... Attacking and not worry about aiming that much. It does the work for you. Uh oh. Little stinkers in the way. I jumped on accident. I think I jumped more than once without noticing, but they give you a grace period. I have eight jumps left. You just get less bonus if you accidentally do it a few times. Excuse me. That tower. We, we seem to have a knack for getting this telephone music. Close to the end here. Getting a little sloppy where I'm just going through the enemy ink. There we go. We got it. Alright. Yeah, I played uh, normal, you know, Paper Mario 64. I played Super Paper Mario a little bit. Color Splash. I play like every other Paper Mario. But I missed Thousand Year Door on the GameCube. Let's see. Drone burst bomb. We haven't gotten that yet, and I just unlocked it. Let's do that. So many questions. I gotta catch up on these. Does this come with the expansion pass or a separate purchase? No, unfortunately, it's not part of the expansion pack. It's its own thing. Arpeggio barrier. Those flying things are gonna come at us thick and fast. Don't forget to look up a. Oh no, the arpeggios are the worst. That's those little bombs. Haley's double checking it. It wasn't working for some reason, the questions. Thank you for checking. Now they all streamed in. Thoughts on side order so far? Uh, it depends on how fast you can beat it. There's still a lot to do, but I managed to beat it within a few runs. I enjoy it, or am still enjoying it, but at the same time, I could see some people being disappointed. Ah! 
Oh, jeez. Wow. Oh no, I only have one life. I hope I have enough membox to try again if I mess this up. I was just talking about it not being as tough as I, yeah. Last chance for this run. The arpeggios are the worst. I need to start trying to get items. Like armor. And keep an eye on what is happening up. There's one. Those little arpeggio guys aren't even the things giving me trouble that much. It's mostly all the enemies overrunning me. There we go. Perfect timing. I needed that. One left. Come on, Pearl. Blast it! Ah! The bomb! There's a lot of these guys. Okay. We got it. I really hope we get a vending machine or I might lose. Let's see. But yeah, I'm, uh... It's... Not as long as a big full single player campaign, but I do think there's a lot of replayability. If you're into the weapon skins, the different rewards, the lore, I think it's worth it. Plus you get two other plazas. Hmm. Might try to do a normal one just to keep myself alive, because I only have the one life. And we're close to the final boss. How's the weather so far? It's starting to warm up and get sunnier again. Definitely helped my mood to not have it be so snowy, but winter's not over yet. Looks like this run isn't over yet. Don't use your sub -water. Okay, done and done. I keep forgetting I even have it. Get out of here, you! Get out of here before it spawns more! There we go. So many special drops. I remember I need to remember to look up more often. Okay, where's there's one down here? Yep. Hurry! <laughs> Such a good sense of urgency when it blows up right when you're about to get destroyed. Block it! <laughs> Pearl didn't have time to do her jingle. We destroyed it too fast. Okay, please, vending machine before the final boss. I'm a little worried about doing it on one life. Yeah, here we go. But we don't... No. <laughs> don't want to bait and switch and 
avoid it. We need the lives. Now, I just hope there actually are lives in there. That would be the worst. Favorite idol group, S. Roski. Gotta be deep cut. I do. I just feel like I like their music style the best. Phew. Okay. Expensive, but we need them. And then we could Booyah, but I'm gonna keep Killer Whale. Old Drone Gauge. Ooh, if we have enough to max this out, that would be fun. Ah, uh, we're so close. Okay, that's fine. Jack up the prices every purchase. Yep, that's how they get you. Am I going to split all, getting all the pallets into parts? And then after each tower run? Uh, I'm going to maybe do one or two runs per time we play this. So we're, this is our second run tonight. and then We'll finish up after this. Gandalf. A wisdom, little pink best buds. I haven't thought about that, that in years. Um, the one developer of that with Pendleton Ward, can't remember his name. The guy who did uh, Psychonauts. He actually watched my playthrough of it, which is funny. They could have made a full game, but I liked that what they did. Hmm. Rush knockback. Don't really need that. That's a risk. Let's just get the squid attack. I keep forgetting to use it, but it might come in handy. We're very close to the boss. Got a good lavender ink as we come closer to <laughs> Spring Fest. Oh, this is the one where we can block it. Block all those missiles. I don't know if they can go over the top of it, but they're annoying. And then they just go through the center. Non-stop killer whales! Ooh, I got that too early. Can't eat all these cans of marina juice. No. Whatever you want to call the special. They're canned specials, but they have Marina's face on it. See, there was just one in the camera. <laughs> we almost activated that again right when it ended. It's my signature move. Cup floor coming up. Even money, even money on small is trying to stop us again. Why do you think that thing's so hung up on its world of order? Maybe if we knew where smallest, or rather order, came from, we could figure that out. Doesn't seem like the sharing type. Doesn't really matter. We're here to reconfigure this pallet, and that's it. Lead the way. Eh? And we have to free shiver. I'm not sure what effects these are having on them that much, because they're still doing the news and and everything, but. We're getting a key either way. Maybe it's beans. Pearl beans. Or sorry, marina beans. Sounds like something Pearl would call marina. Alright, here we go. Eat your crabby cereal, it's time. The stage is, yeah, we're over the city. Very beautiful. Now that it's not all inky and gross as much. It's mollusk. We're just here to reconfigure a pallet. We're not looking for a fight. We just want to hear your silly song. Do you even know what those pallets are? They're souls with really strong colors. I went to all the trouble to pull them out into the memverse so they wouldn't mess with my pawn. Plan. You weren't supposed to get them. It's not fair. You're so annoying, I'm not going to let you weaken figure nothing. We're going to fight now, please. At least he's polite about it. Overlorder. His eyes look like ears a little bit. They're supposed to be bones, maybe, so I doubt it, but... Alright, here we go. 
We all ready for a fight, please? He's very polite about fighting us. Wow, that was quick. Good damage. I'll never give up, you hear me? Never! This is when he probably should ink all around the arena, so that when I have to eventually run from his reef slider and stuff, there'll be plenty of ink here for me to do it. Well, he's too busy super jumping. I think I targeted an ink rail on accident. These little ink blobs aren't that tough to deal with. It's really, yeah, the reef slider and the st uh, stinger that are the worst. Toxic mist! Yes, I still have that. Probably shouldn't put my back to the giant inky octopus, but I think we'll be okay. Alright, here we go. The closer you are, the easier it can be to dodge the Stingray, I think. Oh, maybe not. There we go, we got him. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Look at all the little swirls in the, in the ink. It's almost like a Zen Garden sand pattern. Kind of like Choose of the Kingdom. Okay, this is why I set up all this ink everywhere. So that we can swim out of the way. It's only tough to avoid if you do it wrong like I did earlier, or <laughs> don't have the ink to swim in, I feel like. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, reef slide. That's the other one that run when that happened. Yeah, Springer's pretty good for this. That armor. At what cost? Uh oh. He's stringing me and I have no ink. Okay, we're good. We got this. <laughs> Put your Fred crumbs in the chat for some reason. <laughs> We're doing it for Fred. Oh, no, the reef slider got me. Ah, so close to not even dying once on that. Did it respawn all of them? It better not have. Maybe that's how many we had left before. I don't remember.
Oh, that was not good. Ah, uh, oh no, I have to play really careful. I was trying to go back and forth, but that was not smart of me. Hmm. Maybe I'll ink a little bit before I go in. Just to make sure I have a path. We'll get the center one first. The ink rails help with the stinger as well, as we just saw. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oof. Reef slider hits you when you're in the air. Cool. I didn't think it would hit me. Can we continue? I hope so. I was so like, oh, I'll just go up on the ink rail. The reef slider will not hit me way up there. So unfortunate. And there is a way to continue this, right? Right? Uh-oh. No! <laughs> I thought there was a way to continue. It didn't give it to me. What an incredible run. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm a little, uh... A little frustrated, but also I just didn't want to end it that way. Want to crack, uh, crack open one of those lockers, eh? I swear there was a thing I unlocked that lets you continue. But maybe I don't have it. Continue, yeah. Pay hey, bucks to keep going after you lose all your lives. Why didn't it give me that option? Maybe I didn't have enough bucks. It's 3,000, maybe I didn't have it. Hmm, they didn't even ask me. Wow, I got too big for my britches there, and... Blew it at the last second. <laughs> well, let's use our keys. We got a new pallet. Go to Marina and press Y. Try switching. Oh, it's the Octobrush. Sheldon's Octobrush. Oh, this pallet's from Sheldon. Where'd Sheldon move to again? Splatsville? He's found a whole new audience for his lectures on weapons, and I love that for him. Oof, these poor, poor saps in Splatsville. Oh yeah, you, you do it with Marina, right? There's still a chance. Vicky and Bidoof, everyone that's saying, yeah. Retry, prize cost, pearls cost, oh no. I don't have enough pearls. <laughs> I can't retry, I don't think I have enough, uh, hmm, I don't think I have a way to get more pearls too, unless I can buy them somewhere. It would cost almost 500 to do. You don't sell pearls, right? No, he only takes them from me. No! <laughs> That's a lot of pearls, though, to use just to get another shot at that. What if we use 100 to make the continue cheaper? No, that doesn't. Yeah, this is, allows you to use Membucks to keep going after you lose all your lives. But it doesn't let me use Membucks. It has pearls. Huh. Look at your collection of chips. Oh! Thank you so much! There we go, Vicky! You saved us! Do I want to spend all those pearls? I kind of think I do, because otherwise... We are going to be going all the way back... Through that, and I don't... I think it's more worth it. For me to just get the reward. Look at all these. These are all the chips we've gotten so far. And the levels for them. Still quite a few we have not even gotten once. Okay, so we can do it. I need to be a lot more careful if we're going to spend all the pearls on this. Vicky, you saved us. Alright, we're going to spend the 506. That's a lot of pearls, but I want to get the weapon skin and have it. The time investment. It's a sunk cost, you know? Here we go. We should get some pearls if we beat it. Yeah, Vicky MVP. Vicky, can I... Uh, uh, uh. There's a way to, for me to give out memberships, and I'm not sure how to do it. 
because every month the you're supposed to get them for your channel. How do I give people memberships? I'll try to find that out in a second here. But there's supposed to be a way to do it. I think they implemented it already. If someone knows, let me know before we finish here. All right, I'm going to really focus on this. I don't want to blow it again. Here we go. I got too secure in this fight where I was like, ah, I'll be fine. Steven and Ashley, thank you for the gifted membership. Thank you so much. Hey, Bowser, 16 became a member. Oh, there we go. Welcome, Bowser, 16. The first couple waves are so easy that it lulled me. Hey, Bowser, 16 became a member. We heard you. The first couple waves are so easy that it definitely lulled me into a false sense of, uh, of security. Killer Whale's not doing as much damage as I wanted. I'm gonna make sure this is really inked. Whoa! Watch those tentacles. Hit him in his weird eyes. Tried the membership lottery. Thank you, Steven, for trying that. Trying to dodge my killer whale. You got it. Yeah, there's definitely, I think every month you get a, a couple free ones for your channel. If you have membership set up. Well, now we learned a very important thing. You cannot dodge the reflux in the air. Despite how it looks, the reflux has an extremely large explosion. At least the Overlorder's version of it does. It's valuable info. I always got to make sure I got a getaway path because this guy is known to pull out the most little stinker of specials at the worst time. I wish I had gotten my special charge up there. There we go. Phase two. Down. Down. <laughs> there we go. Alright, last phase. This is where we died last time with all three lives. Gonna be extra careful. Reslider has a cylinder shaped hitbox. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, that was Pearl's killer whale. Here comes the killer whales! Okay, we survived. Membership gifting in chat. I don't know where membership gifting is. But I'll figure out.
Uh oh. I was not <laughs> not ready for that stinger. He's spawning a lot more of the sniper guys now. Oof! No, he got me. My armor broke. Sniper guys are the worst. Okay, three left. Let's not have a repeat. I'm really gonna make sure I ink a way to get around here. This just isn't the fastest weapon to get around because you gotta ink it more vertical path. Oh no. I hit when they spawn right on you. No, no, no. Worst timing. Ah, please, please, please. I have to be so careful. Don't choke, don't choke. Hmm. Shouldn't tell myself that. I'm gonna be so frustrated if the reef sliders of the world, one of the worst specials normally, gets me. No, that's not bad. It's just good in different ways, right? I should be very careful not to ever get under these things because when they spawn, Stuff, that's how you die. King Ray, okay. She tells you which one you're gonna have to deal with. No, no, no. My armor. <laughs> okay, we're fine. No, no worries, no worries. Please stop spawning fish on me when I'm running from the reef slider. Okay, thank you. Jeez. The timing of some of the specials from this guy is horrible. Gotta go back and get those ones because I keep running from them, trying to stay alive. I may just hit a fatigue point where I'm having a lot harder time than I was before. Run, run, run! Uh-oh. Put myself in a really bad position here. I should get the one that's in the center out of here. Because that one's giving me the most trouble. They keep surrounding me. No, no, no! Don't you dare! Okay. <laughs> I almost kill it and then it's like, oh, nope, reef slider time. Yeah, some of these specials are so annoying.
There we go. Okay, super chump. This is the time to kill this thing. Oh, did that freeze him? The pearl chip freezes the boss, too. Please don't lock onto the ink rail. We don't need that. All right, we're so close. I gotta be so careful, though. Okay, that's the thing, Globs. That's fine. He can do that. Prince around me. No, not killer whale. No. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. He just does it, and then I have no time to react. I can't believe how much harder that was than I was having before. I don't know if it was my chips or I was just getting fatigued, but. Well, there we go. Apologies, everyone. It's the way it goes. I'll just go wiggle over here. <laughs> Small is strong, but you can beat order. You, you two beat order before. I don't know now. I'm just gonna go behind the lockers for a little while. They might be slightly larger than the normal Loctiline. They don't look that different. Well, I guess I didn't use that many pearls overall, because we got 270. I just don't think I have anywhere near enough to actually get back in there and try it again. Thank you, everyone, for soothing the wound of losing that twice. <laughs> Maybe I need more than three lives, if, if that's going to happen sometimes. I was giving people tips earlier. I don't know why that one was just so much harder for me. I think because I just didn't have as much ink coverage to run away from stuff. And I was not playing careful enough with the reef slider. All right. Well. 480. Come on, Marina. You can spot me some pearls, right? Okay. Well, on that note, I think we're going to end. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm a little fatigued where I think I'm gonna come back for the dev diary and all that stuff later. Cause, uh, yeah, that was, this is a bit demoralizing to lose that right at the end, but that's how it goes sometimes. Let's imagine Splatsville. Yeah, I don't know if there's any way for me to get enough pearls to try that again. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I need to get different chips if I'm going to actually do that. Because I was not... I didn't have the mobility I needed to survive that. Or I just need better armor or something to survive it if I do get hit by it. Oh, well. Yeah, that was easier my first time, I felt like. But let's go to Encopolis Square. Yeah, good run otherwise. I just I feel I think I feel worse wasting the pearls on it when we lose we lost again anyways, but look how vibrant this place is. It's so oversaturated compared to Splatsville that it feels weird. Oh, I will mention if you try to purchase gear when you're offline, you with from the NPCs that it, that are wearing all the Splatoon 2 gear, you can't. <laughs> they don't let you buy gear from randos that are not real. And I did, yeah, Donnie and Shelly, this is one of the sadder things of the DLC, is that Donnie and Shelly are separated now. They're in different shops. I don't even have enough money left to... Dude, are you for real? Oh, he's, he's jealous of our style. Um, but yeah, we don't, don't even have money to even buy any shoes. Okay. Let's finish up. I gotta get some money this weekend. We gotta go back to Grisco for Golden Grisco. I'm gonna take a little break from side order. I think I just burned myself out on it on top of everything. Thanks again for watching. If you wanna leave a like, <laughs> I appreciate it. You know, our, our next victory will be that much sweeter because of that f double failure. 
I want to thank the members. Here they are, starting with the treat givers. Rafa, Somberline, Steven, Mark, Ashley, Alina, Zach, Josh, and Kayla. Thank you all so much. As well as our night owls. If you want to join, you want to support the channel, like so many others have been doing, appreciate that. How do I... Yeah, I can't even... Uh, I can only see Super Chat and the Super Sticker. I can't do memberships. Hmm. The Questions tab is also not updating very well, unfortunately. I don't know why it's delayed so much. At some point, I will figure out how to gift these memberships to people. Because they're sitting here. I'm sure they are. There we go. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Apologies again. Sometimes life has failures. Sometimes life hits you with a reef slider. Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can figure this out real quick. What's something entertaining we can do while I figure this out? Mm. Membership gifting. Yeah, I don't know why it's not showing up for me. Within the live chat. Ashley's trying to help me figure it out. I see the dollar bill thing, but there's just no membership gifting. It's just super chat and super sticker. I don't know. It's weird. Anyways. I'll try to figure that out for next time. Speaking of which, please tune in for... Yes, please don't spoil side order for people. Um, Please tune in for the Golden Grisco weekend, and then we got a new season. A lot of stuff to look forward to. I didn't need that tri-stringer. <laughs> that was actually... You know, that's one of the only things I would get is a key and the tri-stringer skin, so it's not the worst. And look, we already got this beautiful plaza. Okay. Thanks again, everyone. Appreciate everyone who stuck through. Please leave a like, maybe subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time for more. Tune 3, goodbye.